Hello and welcome to Wapicon. Friends, in today's video, we are going to understand how to verify your business portfolio in Meta. And this business verification is important because if you want to set up WhatsApp API, whether you want to run ads on Facebook or Instagram, or if you want to get green tick for your WhatsApp, or if you want to verify your Facebook and Instagram profiles, in that condition, many meta products that you want to use. For that, you need to verify your business, which is quite important. Many people set up their WhatsApp API, but they haven't verified their business. Due to this, their number also gets banned. After sending 200 or 250 messages, they can't use that number and Meta bans that number. The biggest reason for getting banned is that your business verification is not done. Verifying business is not a difficult thing. It's not a complicated process. It's quite a simple process, takes a few minutes, and easily your business gets verified. For this, it's not necessary that you should have a big brand or a big company. Whether you are a sole proprietor, you are running an individual business, or you have a GST registered business. In fact, if you are simply running your business based on Shop Act or Udium, in that condition also, you can verify your business. So simply let's understand what do you need to verify your business. First of all, you should have a Facebook account and you should have a business portfolio in which you are going to provide all the information. So simply in business registration documents, you will need business license, incorporation certificate will work, or tax registration. After that, whoever is the owner in the business, if there are multiple owners, the verification should be initiated from any one owner's Facebook account. So for that particular person who is the key person or authorized person, we need one government issued ID of that person. Either your passport can be there, driving license can be there, national ID can be there, or your PAN card can be there. Okay. Generally, if your business is public, listed like private limited company, then it will automatically take the data. Or if it's GST registered, then it will automatically fetch the data. So in that condition, maybe there might not be a requirement of utility bills and bank statements. Okay. After that, the most important must is that you should have an official business website. It's not necessary that you should have a very big dynamic website. Even if you have a single one page website that will also work in which you will have basic business related information in which you will have a contact page. In the footer, your business company name should be there and where your mobile number and other things should be mentioned so that when business verifies the data, it will also get verified through the website. After that comes business phone number. So business phone number, simply if you have GST, then your business phone number can be on GST or it can be on business license. In fact, it can also be on your website. So any one official document will be needed. Otherwise, suppose if you are registering business through Udium, if you are from India, then simply all your details are available in that on that also your official phone number can be found here so simply some two to three documents will be needed through which you can process your business for verification and as you submit within one to two days your business generally gets verified then after that you don't have any restrictions you can run multiple whatsapp apis you can run your facebook ads and whatever meta products there are in which you need business verification you can easily use them so let's go i am going to do business verification process here for one of our clients and i will tell you step by step how you need to verify your business so simply we will go to our browser and here in the url we will open business.facebook.com after that, if you are already logged in with Facebook account, then you will see some kind of interface like this. After that here, you will start seeing all your business profiles. So simply from here, whichever business portfolio you want to do verification for, you will choose that business. After that, you will see some settings gear icon here. Simply, you will click on that. After that, some kind of interface like this will open for you. Make sure that if you are submitting for business verification, then you should be admin in that and your two-factor authentication should be on. So simply, you will click on business info here and here you will get to see all the information of your business. You can simply click on edit here and update all your business info. Whatever is your legal business name according to your documents, you will give that here. Your address, which will be on your business registration documents, you have to give that here. Apart from that here, you have to give your website. Tax ID, this is optional. It's not necessary that you have to give this. If you want to give, then you can basically give. You can also give your PAN number here. So simply I have company's PAN details available here. So I will simply give PAN details here. All right, I have given tax ID means PAN details here. Then make sure that you have two-factor authentication option here. Admin everyone. So you should simply do admin only. 
so that if there are other person also added in your business portfolio, if their two-factor authentication is not on, then in that scenario, maybe you won't be able to submit. That's why you should simply click admin only and make sure that all the admins in this profile should have two-factor authentication on. Now here you are seeing that I am getting unverified option here. Simply I click on view details here. After that, you will see some kind of interface like this. In your case, it's possible that you might see ineligible for verification here. So simply once you create WhatsApp API, you create WhatsApp account, as you create WhatsApp account, or if you have created any one service ad account, also, then after that, it will make you eligible for this verification. So currently in my scenario, it's already showing eligible for verification. So simply, we will start verification here. So simply, you will see some kind of interface like this will open in front of you. Before that, let me tell you that having a website is necessary and what kind of website should it be. It's not necessary that you should have a very complicated website. Even a single one page website will work. So as you are seeing here, that client's contact details are showing in the footer where address is showing and in the footer company name is also showing here. So in this way you can align your website. Simply you have to update the important information on your website so that Meta can easily verify your business. After that we simply go and click on get started. Here you will choose your country. After that here it will ask you type of business whether it's corporation, sole proprietorship, partnership, private company or institute. So whatever is your business type you will do that. If you have individual business, you are sole proprietor and you have documents like Shop Act or UDM, then you will select sole proprietor. If you have any corporate company, which is public listed company, then you will select corporation. If it's partnership firm in which you have made PAN card through partnership deed or through that, then you will select that. Or if it's private limited company, then you can also select private limited company. So in my scenario, this is private limited company. So simply I select private company here. After that, some kind of interface like this will open here again. Once you have to verify your business details and whatever information is not available here for business, you have to fill that information. So here simply I don't have tax ID registration number here. So I simply mention the company's registration number here. After that, if you have any alternative name of business, you can give that also. Address, you will update here according to your documents. After that, mobile number should either be mentioned on your website and should be on any of your documents you can give here. After that, simply you will click on next here. After that, this kind of interface will show, as you are seeing here, that business is private limited. So it has automatically picked up our company details from government data. Similarly, if you have any registered company, then in your scenario also this will happen that it will automatically fetch the info. If you have GST registered business, if you have given GST number, then simply it will also fetch GST data and it will be easy for you to verify your business. If in your scenario, suppose this information is not being fetched, then you will simply click on my business isn't listed and move forward. In my scenario, we are doing verification for this same company. So simply I click on this and I will click on next. After that, it has automatically taken all the required things and I will simply click on next here. All right, now here it's asking for identity verification. So here I have to give KYC of one of the directors. So simply I click on next here. Here, if your company is listed automatically, like we took from data, then it has picked up the list of directors from data. In your scenario, if you have business, then your details will show here. So simply I select here and click on next. All right, after that, you will see some kind of interface like this. Here, you basically have to give your documents. You have to select what kind of documents you have. Here you can also upload passport or you can have driving license or national ID card means PAN card, Aadhaar card can be there. And also if you click on see more here, then you will get to see the list of other accepted documents here. Right. So in my scenario, I select tax identification card here because I am basically going to upload PAN card here and simply we will click on next here. Then after that, you will see some kind of interface like this. Simply you have to click here and select the documents that you want to upload. All right. I have selected the document that I want to upload here. After that, simply we will click on submit here. All right, in simple steps, our business verification process is complete. Now Meta will review this in the next 48 hours. It will verify your business, check it. If it's okay, then it will get verified. Otherwise, if there's rejection, then 
it might ask for some additional documents. In your scenario, it might ask for email verification or in your scenario, it might ask for your mobile number verification. So simply you can verify your business in these simple steps. Simply click on finish here. All right, so our business verification has been submitted. Thanks for watching this video till last. Bye bye.